Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew Extremist here from AndrewExtremist.com. Right now, with Nexus 4, I'm gonna review AOKP for that two, that two, the latest nightly that's available right now. So, if you wanna get to the files and how to video, please go ahead and click anywhere on the Nexus 4 right there. You will see a ca caption appear. Now, if you are doing this or watching this video on your beautiful Android phone, tablet, or your sucker Apple product you can go ahead and go to description where I will also have a link to my how to video and there you're gonna find all the files and all the necessary information to get this ROM up and running now before you do that you might want to know what this ROM has to offer you so let's go ahead and get to this review now first of all it's the latest jelly bean that's available in the market for Nexus 4 now this is the lock screen that comes with it and I don't really do anything with lock screen that's why my lock screen is like simple on there I will only have the percentage on the lock screen as well so this is what it looks like something very minimal as I flashed it the latest one so if I have any crashes I would know but before I was running it I had everything set up and let's go ahead as you can see the toggles are different compared to what you probably have I'm gonna go to setting go all the way down about phone and here you'll see what you're running let me zoom in real quick as you can see hardware and all that information Nexus 4 and AOKP version on 0603 that's like a couple days old maybe a week who knows and uh, that's the build number and all that stuff now I'm gonna go back and get to the features that I use now as you can see right there that's your navigation bar and I had do have the menu button right there it's not gonna work right now because we are already in setting now here we go the system under system you'll see super user and permission do not change or do not do anything with permission because if you don't know you might end up getting into apps apps means forecloses of the application if you change permission of an application that needs root permission and if you change it to not allow the root permission it will crash so that's why you do not mess around with root permission there is a super su or super user application right there you can check the log to see who's accessing your super user now developers option here you can say some of the things like power menu bug report so if you want to enable that you can go ahead and do that I done it that's why I let you guys knew I mean no whoops can't really talk right now I don't know why and this is where the fun thing begins between two of my fingers and the quick links ROM control dark OKP so if you turn that thing off oops this is what it looks like you turn it off and with turn it on that's what it looks like and I kind of like the black thing going on with it so that's why I have that now under that it's theme step so if you want to download any of the theme for CM10 or AOKP from your very own Play Store you can always do that and come right here go to themes and select any theme and hit apply and um, I only have one thing so it's just gonna go back to whatever it was but it will say bummer and you can just click apply anyway because it's really another way of saying that that particular theme wasn't meant to build for your phone but it will work and here is what I use mostly in general UI under the interface my transfer setting is 100% for lock screen and for status bar or navigation bar and just after you're done messing around just press save and it will save if you want to have custom do animation or disable you can have that custom career label and I'm just gonna type in Android extremist a and the right there and when you pull down you will see the name right there it appears above the IOKP stats and it's good to have the stats running because it will help the, your developer to make sure your bugs does not come back into the latest nightly so I always have it running but I don't know about you but I don't really mind giving it some information about my phone which is not gonna be like your Ryzen or AT&T takes anyway let's not get on off top topic and uh, let's focus on this choose notification background you can always choose it 
and I'm just gonna choose this little Android guy right here and press OK and now it's saving picture and you will see the picture up here and this is the Android guide I had selected oops now it's gonna appear because it just resetted the right there was the picture you can always put your spouses or your girlfriend or your kid whatever you like in there under custom career label we already done that notification background alpha I don't really mess around with that then this is the these are the some features that I mess around serious bar brightness lighter I always want it to be there and it's awesome when you're running source room you can have that if you want to hide the status bar you can go ahead and do that if you don't want that I always switch it off for some reason it's still on now here is a CRT animation mode where you all all the funds you can like orientation depend or portrait vertical whichever one you like I enabled these two buttons so when you when you go to recent you see the kill and the recent application right there so this is the kill and that's the recent application that's because I enabled that from there so if you really want to do it or know how to do it you can go ahead and done it, do it from there now lock screen is just as I said it's not that big of a deal but I do have these options like selected as you can see right there so you can select those options if you want and you can choose different widgets as the latest and run enables to have widget on the on the lock screen and you can have different targets as you can see there are a lot of targets around my finger everywhere so you can have those targets as well as well and uh, let's go ahead and go back that was the lock screen once you're done you can always press save button and it will save the targets and everything you got power menu is just this is what I have running I just wanted to have the torch on power menu in case something happens and I need, needed that Navigation bar, this is where that button came from. All you're gonna do is press the plus button middle, tap on the uh unicorn logo that comes in. Did I say other? I think and then accent blank and select whatever you want from here. And once you are done, hit the save button. I really don't need it, so I'm just gonna select it and delete button. You can always do that as well. Now these are the things like all the glows and stuff. I put my glows like really fast and navigation button transparency 100%. That's because that's how I like it. And you can always select different DPs for your height. So like how, 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 I don't know, how much height you want for it. And that, that's all. I don't really mess around with navigation bar a lot. Ribbon, I really don't do anything. Toggles, this is where I switched to those traditional toggle. Can go back to tiles if I want, just one click, and uh, you can mess around with toggles, enable more toggles, and all that. And this is what the custom toggle actions come comes in place. So make sure you can like play around with it. Do backup before you play around. So if anything happens, you can always restore your backup. So after that, battery. As you can see, my circle mod battery up there in the corner. You can select that from right there. Check out different battery options right there, in order for you to get a better battery. And there you go. That's the circle mod battery. I just wanted to show you closely. And that's why I had to do that. All right. Let's go ahead and get back on the track. I don't have battery bar because I don't think that's really needed. Clock. I have center and protec if i no i don't have ampm but small day of the week small weekday too i want that i don't want pm see i have protect o'clock but i'm gonna say don't show because i don't really need it i just saw his name he's one of the developer from okp and that's why i selected it hopefully everything is still in focus and you're still watching this video now next again is the signal and as you can see, signal indicator I have it with DBM, so it looks cool to some people. And once you do it, their status bar is going to reset. Now, you don't need that notification LED application from your Play Store. You can mess around with them right here. I really don't change it. Sound, I enable the volume panel as I really like. 
all those different features like headphones plugged in accent what it what they want vibrate when the vibe headphone plug in you will know the headphone plugged in so all that action that if you like to mess around with sound you can do that and vibrate you can create your vibration installer is just I don't really don't like pre host file like persist host file for LCD and enable that I think host file is there so they can block the host and I think there was something else when I clicked there Go to setting. Oh, it was just display, I think. Okay, everything else as far as making this ROM daily driver works, as you can see right there is a camera. Or oh, oops, that's that was a clock. Right there is a camera. Yes. That's the focus. And as you can see, it takes pictures. And you can change the different mode right here. And try out the whatever photo spear or whatever it's called. I'm gonna go home phone call works in, in call audio and everything works never had a drop call so everything as far as making this rom a custom custom source rom and a daily driver dg daily driver is working i never had a folks lows as well as well as on this fc's on this uh version kind of losing my track as you can probably tell so Go ahead and give me a comment on where I need to improve and what I should do next so I can better do better my review at making ROM reviews. So as always guys, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and like my videos and I will see you in the next video.